When one thinks about the long and rich history of African and Senegalese basketball, his name always comes to mind first. A hardworking guard from Dakar, he ensured his name would never be forgotten as he was a leading player on the Lions team that won the FIBA Afrobasket in both 1978 and 1980. But that was not all. And here is Mathieu Fai from Senegal. Thank you. Mr. President of FIBA, Andres Saglis, Secretary General of FIBA, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to begin by borrowing this beautiful quote from the great Brazilian novelist, Paulo Coelho, to translate all the emotion that I feel following the honorary distinction that you have kindly decided to bestow upon me. I quote, there are moments in the life of a man when our deepest feelings are expressed only by tears. They shouldn't be held back as they come from the heart and not from pride, end of quote. Yes, the emotion is so great that this distinction not only comes at a time when it was least expected, but also because the small circle of those inducted into the heat fever Hall of Fame is populated by a tiny number of big names in world basketball, whether they are leaders, officials, or players. However, distinction, although immense, is received with great humility, especially since basketball is a collective discipline and our individual performances depend on the immeasurable contribution of our teammates. It is also my duty to pay a great tribute to some of the leaders of our sport. It is thanks to their coaching and the precious advice they shared with both the elite players, as well as those who are still starting out, that I can stand here before you with pride at this great moment of world basketball. I'd like to mention some like Mamadou Sou, who guided my first uh, players at the Jean d'Arc of Dakar, and the illustrious and sorely missed Usnel Dian, Bonaventure Cavallo, Alun Diop, Claude Constantino, and Larry Duff. It would be amiss of me if I didn't pay tribute to my teammates, Madia Adidas too, the only player with whom we achieved the feat of never having lost a single official match in Africa, but also my former teammates. Let me mention Joseph Lopez, Serinder, Pui Fai, Emi Tupan, Papa Moussa Touré, Ambrose Dog, Madjan Jan, and Abdul Ndiaye, to name but a few of the players at the African level. These tributes also go to my teammates of Limoges, amongst others, Richard Dakuri, Apalo Fai, Edouard Murphy, and the coach, the late André Bouffier, with whom we won a French championship the French Cup and the European Cup, the Courage Cup. It is undoubtedly these moments of glory that have earned me this honorary distinction by the supreme body of world basketball, FIBA. It is African basketball in general 
and Senegalese basketball in particular, represented by your humble servant, which is thus recognized, distinguished, and honored. I'd also like uh, to share the recognition I'm about to receive with some of the basketball greats of the time, including Abdoulaye Seymour, former president of FIBA, one of my pre predecessors in the FIBA Hall of Fame, but also with the state of Senegal and all the ministers of sport and all the leaders who succeeded one another at the head of the Senegalese Federation of Basketball. Finally, I'd like to round off my uh, talk by expressing my sincere thanks to you today. This high distinction confirms me in my conviction that I have chosen the right path and gives me even more courage to continue down the road that lies ahead, both in my professional and personal life. Once again, many thanks to FIBA. And I'd just also like to, to finish off by congratulating all my colleagues who have been inducted in the Hall of Fame today with me. Thank you very much. Thank you once again.